All right, so is CX or your customer experience strategy stifling or maybe even killing innovation? I wanna jump into that, but first let me welcome you uh, to Unlocking Innovation. My name is Kevin Rhodes and this is where I share my 20 plus years of experience helping leaders just like you deliver new value to organizations. I see a lot of CX conversations uh, in conjunction with innovation. And I've worked within CX in large organizations, and I can tell you that there are differences between CX and innovation. What I'm seeing is that CX and innovation are often talked about in conjunction with one another. My hope in this video is that you come away with a clearer or better understanding of where what the differences are between CX and innovation and how they complement one another and how they differ from one another. So let's just jump in. I wanna just highlight the fact that uh, there is a lot of overlap between CX and what I call innovation. Yeah, I wanna add a little clarity to innovation and say customer focused innovation. So innovation that is identified and validated from the customer's perspective, not necessarily the, the organization or the enterprise perspective where it might be technology first or feature first. So just to set the stage there. And I think that's why I see so much uh, literature and conversations around innovation or around CX where they often include language uh, for one another. And I, I think that can, um, can be kind of confusing. And so I, I want to just highlight the fact that there is a lot of overlap between customer focused innovation and CX because it's so customer focused. They're both, they both are looking at the customer. They're both about process improvement and they're also about making products and services better. So there is a lot of overlap under this umbrella of making things better, making things better for the customer. And I think that's in many ways why they conflict. So let me just highlight some of the differences here. CX or customer experience is all about measuring and getting good at delivering that value to the customer. It is about delivering on that brand promise that is being made to the customer and, and having clear understanding of how well we are performing against that promise. And CX is about making incremental changes in order to ensure that we are satisfying or delighting our customers in a unique way. And CX is about that steady incremental growth. If we, are, if we have our eye on the customer experience, we're able to guide it, we're able to mature it, and we're able to continue to deliver that value day in and day out. And to that end, the customer experience, CX strategies are often focused on getting to know the customer, getting to make sure that we are meeting the customer expectation again and again, and that brand promise is being fulfilled. And we wanna measure the drift if and when it happens. So it's gonna happen. We just wanna manage that drift. And when it does begin to drift, we wanna make improvements, improve, improvements to our process, improvements to our product or service that begin to realign our customer experience with the brand promise or the value proposition that we're actually delivering to the customer. In contrast, innovation is about doing something completely new. It's about doing something completely different. Innovation is about taking risks. Innovation is looking beyond what we're already good at and innovation is about breakthroughs in uncharted territory. So whereas CX is really that focus on operational excellence, that delivery of value in a consistent and meaningful way as understood by the customer, innovation is about breaking the mold. It's, it's, it's about looking at all the things that we, that we value in operational excellence and asking yourself, what could we be doing different? What new thing does the customer want that doesn't fit in our operational capabilities? So quite often when, so when there's a new initiative internally within the organization that is trying to advance some new innovative thing or idea, product or service into the marketplace, it's gonna meet resistance with all of the things, all the systems, process and procedures that are in place that are built around delivering a predictable, consistent, delightful CX. So as you can see, that's, that and right there has a natural tension to it. The new, the uncharted, unknown, 
versus the thing we're trying to get good at and measure and keep pace with. You know, they are often at odds. And this is exactly what you want. You want to continue to focus on operational excellence and deliver on that brand promise again and again and again. And you want to measure it. And you want to know how well you're performing against it. And at the same time, you want to constantly be looking for new ways and new, new ways of delivering value that don't fit the mold so you can stay relevant, so that you can stay in front of the competition, so you can stay in front of customer demand. That is why it's so important to bring these two disciplines together. Keep pushing hard on, on a rigorous CX strategy and keep pushing hard on a rigorous innovation strategy. Yes, they're going to be at odds with one another, but when we lose that tension and one just runs away, leaving the other behind, that's when we see things get chaotic. Uh, from an innovation's perspective, things are constantly changing. We don't get any operational excellence and customers are kind of left wondering, like, or what's the next new thing that's gonna be introduced? Looking for stability, repeatability, all the things that CX cares about gets thrown out the window. And on the other hand, if we just focus on CX and we just work on those incremental improvements, we lose sight of that thing that's right around the corner, that innovation that is waiting to happen to disrupt the industry that uh, we need to have eyes on in order to participate and respond or to adapt accordingly. So, hey, that's the way I think about uh, CX and innovation and how they are often at odds with one another, but also complement one another. So I hope that has been helpful. Hopefully th that uh, gets your mind thinking about ways that, uh, about ways that you, that you can keep these tensions in play within your organization. And yeah, if you have any questions about uh, ratcheting up a stronger CX strategy or leveraging new ways to deliver innovation, I would love to chat. I hope this gives you something to think about and hope it, hopefully it provides a little value to you as you build out CX and innovation strategies where you're at. Until next time, hey, I hope you're doing well and I look forward to having these conversations with you again down the road.